right guys in today's video we'll review another portfolio this one is actually one of the worst portfolios that i've ever seen maybe in 2005 this would be a cool uh, portfolio and this would actually land him a project but uh, as you'll see this is a pattern that i'm seeing every single time every junior developer is producing the worst type of applications the worst type of websites I'm actually impressed by how horrible some of these applications are. I really wish uh, some of you would actually wake up from this uh, deep paralysis that you are in because uh, it seems like you are complaining a lot about the job market. You're complaining about the fact that there are no jobs for junior developers, but for some reason you cannot put together a website or an application that is actually decent in 2025 with all the hundreds of resources of templates of videos that have been created for you the junior developer that is complaining every single day this is what Renon produced again this is not a personal attack to him I'm pretty sure he's a decent human being he's a nice guy probably he's uh, really excited to be part of the tech community and he wants to get a developer job but <clears throat> what he came up with is absolutely horrible. The last thing that you guys need is someone to uh, cuddle you and tell you that everything is gonna be all right and you just have to work harder and blah, blah, blah. And then you end up producing shit that looks like... Let me know in the comments what you think. So this is the website. Let's uh, refresh it. Just so we can see what's happening here. A picture of him. Hello, I'm Brennan. Okay, cool. Welcome to my portfolio created with Vit and developed with React. And uh, these uh, links are sending me to Vit. And it's, you know what's funny? That these two websites, Vit and React, just, just by the way they look, uh, is like making him look like, like, uh, like a nobody. You know what I mean? Like uh, they should charge him money for allowing him to put their logos on his website you know that's what i feel about it uh, and again all these can be fixed by buying some sort of template so if we go to lexington teams uh, again it's a hundred bucks if you cannot afford a hundred bucks to invest into yourself to have at least a chance to get a job then i'm not sure what to say you know so for example you can go to i don't know maybe personal let's see what we have here and any of these would make him at least look decent. At least the recruiter is gonna try to scroll, try to figure out what Brennan is about. But again, people are not thinking outside the box and buying a template is not even thinking outside the box. You know, it's like touching the corners of the box, you know, touching the sides of the box. But uh, again, I am so passionate about this because I see so many people struggling with this with this fucking job search which is hard enough in itself but having a portfolio that looks like this i don't know i i really feel bad for you guys um i used to be a barista i i, I know how it is to start from the bottom and i used to work my ass off eight hours a day after my work shift i used to sleep four hours a night just so i can write more code just so i can improve my applications and I didn't have the resources that you guys have nowadays. Uh, but again, let's have a look at these websites. So I would prefer to actually look at the website. And he made a little video that shows uh, a slider. Basic HTML. That's how you sell yourself basic HTML. Then let's look at this one. Welcome to Code Tailors. We deliver websites to fit your business needs. If I'm being honest with you, I would pay you not to touch my website. Because if this is what you can come up with, with this shitty image and these shitty animations, again, in 2025, we are talking about having access to AI that can write code for you. We are talking about having access to templates that you can spend a hundred bucks on and reuse them over and over to actually make websites and whatnot. Um, if this is what you can come up with in 2025, I'm sorry, but you are not cut to be a developer. I sound again, like I sound like an asshole. I completely understand you, but you are going to be judged by recruiters, by hiring managers, by other developers, and they will see what you can produce. And if they're not 
impressed at all by, by your work, they will just scrape you. And then you are creating a bad reputation for other junior developers who are actually, you know, putting in the work, like my students. Uh, again, let's look at this. This is just a picture. Oh no, it's a video as well. I am just fucking disappointed to be honest. A calculator. This is what my students are doing to learn some JavaScript, but even their projects look way better than this. Uh, welcome to FBI's most wanted list checker. Horrible. I'm sorry, but this is horrible. And we have some flyer designs. <sighs> this is absolutely horrible. Look, if you want to do this by yourself, okay? You wanna do this by yourself, and you want to do it for almost free. Do this, go to this website called Product Hunt. Okay, Product Hunt. This is where other developers launch their products and then you can have an idea of what application or what kind of application you should be able to produce to call yourself a developer in 2025, okay? I don't give a shit if you have a degree. I don't give a shit if you've been to a bootcamp. I don't give a shit if you are learning from YouTube and Udemy. All of you, should be able to do this so you go here on product hunt and you are looking for inspiration you check out the first 20 applications that show up here and then you see the one that you like the most so let's say you click on interlify let's have a look at this and you click on get started you sign up you probably have to pay for some of these tools to learn how they work etc etc so you access all the features and then you make a Google Doc like this. And then you start to type in uh, stuff that this app can do. Like for example, as a user, I can connect the, my YouTube account to my app, whatever. As a user, I can scrape data from my YouTube account and and analyze my best performing videos whatever right so you go through all these apps and you start to understand like what they are doing for whom they are supposed to be useful to if that makes sense and then you start to make a list and then you start to work every single day on checking off one of those tasks that you've created that's what you have to do in 2025 to get a job. Uh, and again, it's easier than ever, and you have access to pretty much all the tools in the world to do that. Don't you understand that the standard for developers and the standard for any kind of job in any kind of industry is at an all time high and is never going to drop. And you guys need to figure out how you can sit your ass on the chair and actually start thinking about the stuff that you are making because making a calculator and making this indian looking uh application and uh, fbi most wanted list and this shitty calculator and uh and these bullshit websites it's not gonna get you hired in fact if you are flipping burgers at mcdonald's you'll probably keep doing that for the next 20 years if that's even going to be a thing anymore if you sit down for six hours you get this application called self-control i think it's called and you block anything uh, that might distract you like youtube facebook instagram twitter TikTok, whatever you're on uh poor hub whatever websites you are visiting and you just focus on a google doc and one application that you want to copy and you write down every single thing that application does and you start using that application to understand it and you start replicating it with the skills that you have acquired and you fucking sit for six months doing that you will be so far ahead compared with all your competition junior mid-level senior you'll actually have a product that you can use in your resume to get a job or you can start marketing it and selling it to other people like this is the secret all the tools are out there all the templates are out there you just have to learn how to invest your time wisely because if you make a shitty application and portfolio that looks like this i can guarantee you that you'll never get a job it's almost impossible and the, the sad reality is that he was 
confident enough to come forward with this okay but there are so many like him out there thousands tens of thousands that are looking for job that are flooding the job job boards with applications they are spamming left and right and they are not getting anywhere if you want to skip all this bullshit and you want to build projects that will actually get hired click on the first link in the description and apply for the mentorship i can guarantee you again in writing in black and white in a contract that i'm gonna get you hired else you don't have to pay me a single dime and i'm also gonna give you money for wasting your time i'm so confident that uh, what i have is what you need that i'm willing to sign on a white piece of paper that you don't have to pay me a single dime until you get the job okay so click on the link in the description and apply for the mentorship else keep going keep trying stuff that doesn't work and i'll see you again in three years when the job market is going to be even tougher uh but yeah that's pretty much the video for today peace out